Good morning. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Teresa and that's Sly. It's Saturday and I'm going to do my Christmas home tour today. You can see outside there's a little snow getting me in the mood. Um, and Sly just loves coming out here and looking at the traffic go by. Watch his tail. He loves it. We call it cat TV. Okay, let's get started. We always start on the front porch, right? It's actually kind of a cloudy day, but it's early, so I hope that everything is well lit. So, this is my front porch. And I do have some Christmas stuff out here. I've got some cute little wooden snowmen. And what does their sign say? Snow friends stick together. Yes, they do. But you know what they don't do? They don't save your nose, man. His nose is gone, and I don't know where it's at. I have never. I could probably make one. I should do that. I should make one. So then next to my little snowman, here are, here's my tree, my Christmas tree, and I've got so many cute decorations. Um, these little lollipops are real. Um, they're from the Dollar Tree. And I've got some little ornaments, little stuffed ornaments. I've got candy canes. I've got gingerbread men. What else? Two different kinds of ribbon. I've got the red and black buffalo check, and I've got some burlap. And I think it really just makes it look so whimsical. And then underneath, I have a couple of little elves. Over here, I've got some evergreen, some gingerbread men. And I, I don't know where I got these. I don't remember. But my grandson thinks they're cookies. Because they look like cookies. I've got my Yuletide Ensign. What else? You know, I think in the spring, I'm going to get new rugs for out here. I don't know. I just, I've had these rugs for a long time. And it does, it does do um, the job of keeping the dirt off the rug. But I don't even know if I like this rug. I mean, the carpet. Like, wouldn't it be cute if it was tiled out here? I don't know. It's a whole other story. So over here on this side, I have my Santa welcome sign. I don't know if I ever talked about these pictures. These pictures are from the town that I live in. And they're, they're old photographs. Um, and I just, I well, you can't see that one. Um... I can't, I can't get it. But they're old photographs of the town, and I thought they were so beautiful that I, I printed them and, and framed them. So anyway, that's out here all the time. Oops. I've got my plaid pillows on the rockers out here. I never have ever put anything in this basket. This year I did. Little snowman, some evergreens, some poinsettias which I carried through up here on top of the sewing machine. And um, my wreaths that I put on these windows, they flank the door. There's one over here, it's just like that. And then up on top of this cabinet, just another garland of poinsettias. And the door, I'm sure that I bought this wreath at the Goodwill maybe 15 years ago. And I don't think I did anything to it. But I think it's beautiful. So I tend to, to use this every Christmas. Let's go in. Hey, Scotty. What's it doing, buddy? Anyway. Anyway. So we come in from the porch and then you're in the living room. Um, we'll we'll come over here in a minute. I have my tree over here in this corner, this little area. It's the perfect place for the tree. So let's take a look. I have literally had these ornaments, these same ornaments, 
since before my daughter was born and she's 26. I mean, there might be a few that I added, but basically it's the same. The trees have changed, but the ornaments remain the same. I've got a lot of characters from Rudolph. And let's step back. On the banister, I have some garland and lights. Is there anything more beautiful than white lights? I don't think there is. I got a couple of stockings hung. Um, oh, down here on this table, I've got, it's just a simple arrangement. Um, these are real cookies. Don't tell Scotty. Because if he comes over here and sniffs those, they'll be gone. I have been keeping them put up when I'm not home. Because I don't know what he does when I'm not here. But, okay. So, then over here on this bookcase, I've got a Joy banner. And my antique rocking horse. I don't even think you can see it. It came from my sister's antique shop. And I love it so much. I admired it for years. Um, it was in her shop and it was pricey. And she ended up, um, a boyfriend I had bought it for me. <laughs> Only good thing he ever did. Um, but anyway, I digress. I got a little tapestry over here with some more snowmen. And then by the door, I've got this copper container, and I've just simply put some. And you know, okay, so I think this can take me through the winter. It's just frosted berries and holly and evergreen, and I think there's pine cones. But I think I can leave this in here until spring. And then we'll move over to the living room. The I have two little Christmas, no, three. Three little Christmas pillows. I've got a Merry Christmas uh, pillow here on this sofa, and then one on the other sofa, and I'll show you. But up here across the mantle, more evergreen, more lights, more poinsettias. Um, above the fireplace, there's a banner that says Believe, and that's metal. I think I got both of the the one that says Joy and the one here. I think that I got them the same day at the same place. It's a store that's not there anymore. And then on either side of the fireplace, I've got two crocs with some trees and, you guessed it, more poinsettias. And then I've got the rocker over here and I've got this beautiful um, throw. Now, I, this is a new purchase this year. And, um, and a Merry Christmas pillow. Then over here on the other sofa, I've got... The other Christmas pillow, Joy. Next to the sofa, I've got a little candy dish. My grandson has not discovered that yet. It's full of, I think it's full of Reese's peanut butter cups. God help us if he finds it. Um, some snowmen. More snowmen here on top of this trunk in this basket. I like to put stuff in here. Um, I don't get into this trunk, so I, you know, I'm able to decorate the top, and it's not a big deal. But yeah, it's very festive. Very festive in here today. Got all the lights lit, got the candles lit, got the fireplace going, got a Christmas movie on the television. Let's go into the dining room. Um, yeah. My poor little lampshade tree in the corner. Let's just go talk about it. Let's get it out of the way. So this was outside my comfort zone, and the lights are dead. I was wondering if that was going to happen to me today. I'm starting to think it's not good luck, unless some of my lights are out. But I made this frame. It's, it, they're lampshade frames. And I've seen it on Pinterest. Actually, I'll put a picture of my inspiration. And you're now.
Um, at, the fairy lights are a nightmare to work with. These obviously need new batteries. But let's let's take a look on this chair. This bucket says fresh cut Christmas trees, and I just stuck some little trees I had in there. How cute is that? And simple. Here on the buffet, uh, more little Christmas trees. Got a little Santa Claus here. Um, this little cabinet has a snowman. And oh, tis the season. My tiered tray is all decked out for Christmas. Oh, I should have lit this candle. Fail. And then on the other side of this buffet, I have on this chair some fake presents. And then I just put this Santa hat up here. Um, let's talk about the table. Uh, this was new last year, this table runner. Um, this cloche is new. I got it from LTD. And I just uh, bought the Christmas trees at Walmart, some greenery, and some battery powered lights. Then candles. All right, here's my little snowman. My grandson loves this. And then next to the tree, I've got a bucket of snow balls and a top hat. And I, I've had this saying for many years, but I always hang it up. It, it, tell me that's not the perfect place for it. I mean, I couldn't, I had to buy this house just because of that. But there's my stained glass window. I love that window. What else do we have? Oh, we have a cat bed. That's a new purchase this year. My cat loves it so much that uh, he doesn't uh, want to get it dirty or anything, so he just never goes in there. What a waste of money. Get in your bed. Get in there. Never gets in there. Oh, I can show you this. So, uh, I'm hosting Christmas, and we I'm going to have uh, an ugly Christmas sweater contest. So, this is the prize. So inside this gift basket, I'm, I put this together. So um, there's a couple of insulated cups. There's some hot chocolate and a box of those peppermint spoons, you know, that you use to stir your hot chocolate. There is chocolate covered pretzels, combos, beef jerky, a chocolate Santa, and I even made a plaque um, for the winner. <laughs> Not funny. And um, there's a $10 Taco Bell card. So bring your egg game, people. Okay, let's move into the kitchen. Wait, is there more stuff in here? There is. In this little tray, I've got another tree. Some greenery and pine cones. Oh, this snowman. He lights up. Um, there's a, one of those lights you stick in there and plug in. I have no plugs over here. Nowhere. So, he's, he has to be dark this year. And then in my metal bucket above that, I've got Christmas picks. Oh, I'm going to show you my mouse. I always show everybody this every year. It was a gift. It was a gift... Um, some friends of mine online, we had an um, a ornament exchange or a gift exchange. And this was what I got. The lady that sent it to me, she made it. Now watch him fall out of here. And then on the coat closet door, I've got a snowman. And there's a Noel sign here. And on the French doors, I have matching wreaths. They actually match the ones that are on the front porch. There's four of them. A girl gave them to me. She said, do you like wreaths? I said, does a bear drop trow in the woods? She said, yes, and do you like wreaths? And I said, yes. She said, you can have them. I, I offered to buy them. She didn't want any money. What am I supposed to do? It was a gift. Okay, so kitchen. Oh, everybody thinks this is hysterical. My little snow girl has the tiniest head. I don't know why. I think she's charming. Oh, little tree here. 
another candle. This is a bourbon, bourbon dessert. I have no idea if it smells. I can't smell it. So I, I moved some stuff around on my counter. I moved my bread box and I brought out my air fryer. Because I feel like when it's in that closet, I don't think of it. So I moved it out here so I would use it. Now ask me if I've used it. Not yet, but I'm going to. And then of course I have, I have to have a full cookie jar for when my grandson comes over. And in this cookie jar today, we have snickerdoodles and um, icing covered um, animal crackers. And I just got it on this little riser and underneath just a little bowl of pine cones. Then my little coffee station. I've got some Christmas mugs and I've got coffee and hot chocolate in here, chai tea in here, a brand new thing of hot cocoa. I love the packaging on this. Isn't that cute? Um, straws, a jar of marshmallows. These marshmallows have chocolate in the middle. So, I mean, they just take your hot chocolate and take it up a couple notches. And I've got some stevia in here. My coffee bar is sort of, I mean, simple in comparison to some I've seen. But it's just me, you know what I mean? So, it's funny. And, and when company comes over, of course, they can help themselves. On the fridge, I have some, I've got my magnets, my Christmas, my Santa Claus magnet. Last year, my grandson was playing with the legs and they are still MIA. I've never found them. I think he took them home with him in his pockets, I think. He actually, we made this. It's a craft. It's a fall craft. It was this handprint, and then we used um, Q-tips dipped in paint to make the leaves. And I leave it here because whenever he comes over, at some point, he's going to take this off the fridge and bring it to me. He likes that I go on and on about it, about how great it is. Um, on my dry erase board, I have, you know, if you don't know what that means, usually I, I have a Merry Christmas or, you know, Season's Greetings or something. This year we went rogue. All right, over here next to the sink, I've got, this is where my bread box landed, over here. And I've got a little oven mitt in this container. I've got some picks. I actually got Christmas cards this year. I got four of them. So this one, that one, this one, and this one. Isn't that cute? Yeah, last year I don't think I got any. And I didn't send any. I don't send any Christmas cards out. Do you know how much it costs to send one thing in the mail? 50 cents! Sorry, I get a little riled about that. So in my windowsill I've got my cheese graters all decorated. I've got a mug that I put some picks in. Some other things. He needs to go downstairs. Do you want to go potty? So on the stove, I've got a Christmas towel. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Okay, I will. On the stove board, the only thing I put up here was just this tree. This little tree. And then on the back, I have a plaque that says Joy. Um, salt and pepper shakers. You want to hear how stupid I am? Every year, when I put the salt and pepper in these to put them out, I think to myself, how could you do it that it would be easy to know which is which? Okay, put the salt in the white one and the pepper in the black one. I figured it out this year. Oh, okay. Don't be jealous of me. And then in this little thing, I've got some pretty, pretty picks. Why do I smell gas? It's all off. 
I never show you this stairway, but I'm going to today. Hang on, let me get the light. This is my butler staircase. And one of these days, I'm, okay, I didn't do anything to this when I moved in. This carpet was here, that weird paneling was there, but for some reason I like it. But I need to decorate. I mean, I did throw some things up here, but maybe in the spring I'll redo this. I don't know. I don't go up and down the stairway. I don't know why. I never think of it. All right. Is that everything? It is. Oh, I'm not going to go outside right now, but I will take a picture of my little decorations out there and I'll, I'll stick them in at the end. So here we are and here you are. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I hope that the New Year is the best ever. And I love you guys and I will see you later. Say bye Scotty. <laughs> bye guys.